Welcome back to Play Lin Say. So, uh, we're picking up from where we were. Well, um, I actually did start the game again. So, as you can see, uh, still got my first aid spray. Um, got a few more bullets this time. Uh, so, so, hopefully, we're not going to die where we died last time. So, let's pop through. Let's have a look. Be wasting ammo. Right, those two bullets I just wasted there. Don't want to be using the bazooka against zombies. Uh, you'll find out later in the game. When you actually start to miss the zombies, which is weird for a zombie game. Normally it's uh you fight against the zombies. So again, another item that's a different colour from the scenery, so we'll push that off. And we'll keep on going. Ah, oh, pretty little stained glass window. the game before I do know it just let me through and take Jill down the stairs <laughs> Give me. Uh, that zombie there is one I I'm pretty sure I definitely don't waste ammo on you come straight around there and straight into that door, you should be okay. So, vitamins and serums, a save point, and a chest. Shove uh, our spare ammo away. And uh, knife, because we're never going to use it. Well, I think we definitely need some ammo. I think that should be our main priority here. Now though, I'm just going to have to try and run around zombies. There's a trick to it. Ooh. Uh, the door there to the right is a locked door. You need a key for. Correct though, he's a bit difficult. I'm going to wipe him out. I don't really want to be trying to run past him too much. And into a side door. Someone's bedroom by the looks of it, so let's rummage through their stuff. Well, that's awfully insulting, Jill. Nothing here that I would like. So it's nothing special. Maybe that picture was special to him. How do you know that? I took the first aid spray, but I'm wasting a bazooka shot. <clears throat> unacceptable in a survival game, isn't it? Just unacceptable. Uh, 
<clears throat> Keeper's Diary. May 9th, 1989. At night we played poker with Scott the Guard, Ali Alias and Steve the Researcher. Steve was really lucky, but I think he was cheating. What a scumbag. Today a high-ranking researcher asked me to take care of a new monster. It looks like a gorilla without any skin. They told me to feed them live food. When I threw in a pig, they were playing with it. Tearing off the pig's legs and pulling out the guts before they actually ate it. Pleasant. Around 5 o'clock this morning, Scott came in and woke me up. Suddenly, he was wearing a protection suit that looks like a space suit. He told me to put one on as well. I heard there was an accident in the basement lab. Ooh, there's a basement lab. It's no wonder those researchers never rest even at night. <clears throat> I've been wearing this annoying space suit since yesterday. My skin grows musty and feels very itchy. By way of revenge, I didn't feed those dogs today. Now I feel better. Oh, aren't you a nice person? Taking your anger out on people's dogs. I went to the medical room because my back is all swollen and feels itchy. They put a big bandage on it on my back and the doctor told me I did not need to wear the spacesuit anymore. I guess I can sleep well tonight. When I woke up this morning I found another blister on my foot. It was annoying and I ended up dragging my foot and I went to the dog's pen. So I was walking like a zombie. Walk like a zombie, talk like a zombie. They've been quiet since morning, which is very unusual. I found that some of them had escaped. I'll be in real trouble if they hire up to find out. Even though I didn't feel well, I decided to go to see Nancy. It's my first day off in a long time before I was stopped by the guard on the way out. They say the company has ordered that no one leaves the grounds. I can't even make a phone call. What kind of joke is this? I had a researcher who tried to escape from the mansion was shot last night. My entire body feels burning and itchy at night. When I was scratching the swelling in my arm, a lump of rotten flesh dropped off. Oh, what the hell is happening to me? Fever gone, but itchy, hungry, and uh, doggy food. Itchy, itchy, Scott came. Itchy, itchy, Scott. Got Sean your name down, I think, mate. Ugly face, I killed him. Tasty. Itchy, tasty. And that's the keeper's diary. So that, mm, was that the keeper? In his lab coat. I always thought the white coats were lab coats. Why would you gra your groundskeeper be wearing uh, a lab coat? Uh, I've forgotten something, haven't I? Let's go back to the save room. So I've got to remember there's a couple of zombies around here which I've got to avoid. The wall to get that one, then straight into the door to avoid that one. Uh, if you remember earlier, we picked up chemicals. There they are. So now, what are chemicals for? For killing things. Um, seem to be the main theme for the doors, so hopefully that'll be the first key I get. Armour. Open everything up. I've killed everything here, haven't I? So the zombies you don't kill don't come back to life, so those two there, um, in my opinion, are quite easy to avoid. You see a fountain with uh, a plant coming out of it. Of course, not going to be a friendly plant. So what we'll do is we'll shove chemicals in its watering system. You can turn it orange. Ah, you've just been tangled.
the main thing here is cake. Being a garden, there's a lot of herbs here as well, so I'm gonna s stack up on a few of these. The red one. Red one. So as you see, I'm full of items, so I can't carry any more items. So it's about as much as about managing the space in your infantry as anything in this game. So combine that with that. Do you remember the red book? Uh, the Blanotti book told us to mix a red herb with a green herb at the botany book even uh, and so we get triple effect on that one so it's, um, I probably haven't pointed it out but it's the, the health meter is next to the picture uh, bottom middle and there's a few stages so fine this is low fine or if it was green it would be high fine and then there's caution and danger and I'm pretty sure that each have two stages so you have six points of damage. Doesn't mean you can take six hits, because most enemies are going to knock two, three, four points off you per swing. But that's how they have done it. So I'm one stage down at the moment, so if I took that, that would be three stages, because green, one, uh, times three, three stages of, of uh, healing. And that would be too much for us. So we're going to take another green herb, we're going to combine that with the other red and take another green herb. The reason why I'm trying to take so much at once is because we don't really need to come back here, so... If I can get these in chests, I can have them with me wherever I go. If Jill wants to pick them up, of course, it's completely up to her. Oh, and it won't just tell you what the keys are, of course, you have to check them. So you turn around to the picture and press your action button. And to the armor key. just on the other side of this door. I'm pretty sure that was an armist well. But as I'm carrying too many items at the moment it's pointless to explore. So we first things first need to find a safe room. And get us some ourselves some more space. We don't need to be carrying around this much healing. We don't need to be carrying around the Zuka. Shells. I'm going to try and do most of this first bit just using uh, the pistol and pistol ammo. Uh, as a rule of thumb with most survivor games, use the, the weakest weapon for the weakest enemies because at some point it will throw stuff at you which the weaker weapon just isn't going to deal with. used. Um, slightly different on this playthrough. Um, what I did was um, I didn't get the shotgun the way that Barry saved me because that is a Jill only option and you can only do it at the start as well. If you try and do it later you will get crushed with Jill. Um, this is what you actually need to get that shotgun normally. Broken shotguns. When we took it off and the weights, and you replace it with uh, this one. See, that's how much I love you people. I'm willing to do things the ex longer way just to show you how to do them. Alright, let's head back off and let's keep going around. So 
there's only one failing to keep up with what we've actually been doing. Um, so the bit with the three stairways in the middle, that's where we started and we went left. That was the original cutscene. Uh, we see the dead guy and the zombie chase you back through the door. We went back into the middle and then right. Which was the map room and then the dog's corridor. And we worked all the way around there. Along the top. Back through the uh, hallway. And back down. So this should lead us back out. So it's originally this is the other end of this corridor where this zombie was eating this guy. Kenneth from Stars? A mere shadow of his former self. Sad, sad, sad times. Alright, let's, uh, let's raid the body. And we're going to get a clip. Because of course all dead bodies give you ammo and Kenneth gives you two. Which makes us look a hell of a lot more healthy than what we were. Is that a plant or is that a herb? That's just a plant. Picture of the mansion. So it makes the mansion look like it's got spires. And back down into the corridor where we started. Uh, in my opinion, a great design from the guys. Um, just with maps only being able to be as big as what the coding allows them to be, uh, by them almost doubling up on these maps where you having to go one way and then back to the other, um, it makes the game feel a lot bigger. Also, the fact that you clear the zombies in a room or you don't uh, it makes that still keeps that as a nice decision. you know that even if you sometimes if you can run past like one zombie you know that you're just gonna have to keep coming through well you don't always know the first playthrough but second or third you sort of know the ways you're gonna have to keep coming and moving zombie hiding around the corner I'm no fool you lab zombie and um, so what were you blocking chest. Shotgun ammo. Yeah, well, I'll take the shells. So I can carry them. Uh, been a bit foolish here, haven't I? Because if I do find anything in the here, I'm not going to actually be able to carry it. Well, let's come back here in a bit. Let's get rid of this uh, rusty shotgun. Uh, back where we got the map. Uh, on my on this playthrough, I did shoot the dogs that came through the windows in here. Uh, if you don't, they will still keep jumping. Um, they don't keep jumping out of them, sorry. They are just there. And this box here, if you move this, uh, there is a clip behind it. Or under it. And that's not what we're going for. We're going to see how to do the shotgun without... Barry, the... Overhelpful ginger bastards interfering with everything. room that uh, Barry kicked me out of with its beautiful graphics oh I'm an idiot I'm a bloody idiot cars can't carry it don't have enough space for anything Where's the nearest safe room? 
Uh, about there. There's not one in the hallway. There's a save thing, but no chest. Uh, it was bottom of those stairs, wasn't it? Just through here. Yeah, there's one just through here, if I remember correctly. Can't remember though whether they killed the zombie in here. Let's play through. Yeah, that looks about it. So that's good. One less thing to worry about. Right, let's get rid of the ink ribbon. Generally, typewriters in here, save rooms. Gonna need the emblem in a bit and get rid of the shotgun shells. Gives me two free slots. And let's keep going. Hope, hope they keep the door animations on the remade remastered, but I should really research so much that. It was an interesting game uh, mechanic. I suppose it's just them getting around load screens, but we can see how small each room is. Shouldn't really be needed for the new one. So then we put the rusty shotgun in its place. As you can see by the barrel, really not a shotgun you want to be using. I think it just shouldn't just be called rusty. I think it should be called rusty and bent. So if we didn't do that, then out here this room would start, the ceiling would start coming down, and we'd have to... Well, if we did it the first time we came through, Barry would kick us out. If not, then it would kill us. Uh, as Chris, no Barry, not even first time, so just don't come in here until you've got the shotgun. Because there's been a couple of times when I've forgotten that you can't do it the first time with Jill, and I've sat there and waited for Barry to save me to be killed. And. Oh, what have we got next? We've got the emblem to work on next. And that's on the other side of the building, so. You'll join me for another little jointy run. Gonna pick the gem up on the way through, the one we had to pass over with this statue that we pushed off. day to day just to play this then I'm just going to be saving it a lot less than what I normally do. Is the two doors here at the end. Uh, the big door in front of you is locked from the inside, so you're going to be coming back through that way. Generally, in this game, you have keys, uh, lock is broken, which normally means it's going to open with a key or a switch or not open. Um, Lockpicks, which for Chris you'll see it's saying that he needs a small key to open instead of a lockpick. And gravings. So if it says this has a graving of dot dot dot, that's the type of key that you need for that. 
All right, now time for one of the most iconic bits of music in the game. All the Resident Evil series. The Moonlight Sonata. Voila, the door opens up for us. Gold emblem. Which makes the door shut again. Uh, it's not a fail state or anything. If you're here without the normal emblem, you just put that one back and so the door will open up again. We do need that one, so we'll keep that. And then we'll give them the wooden one. And now we'll go off to market and we'll sell the golden emblem. After all, it's gold. Is there nothing else in this room apart from that? That's in quite a big room for just that. I was hoping for some ammo. But I suppose we are doing quite well on that so far. Really want pistol rounds for the dogs. I bloody hate dogs in this game. Mansion key. Another one. Uh, so we now have the armor and the shield key. It's going to be a bit fuzzy where to go ne uh, precisely next. Spare slot in the infantry, so yeah. let's have a look at the back room through here. Sort of stepped into it and did the first room, but came back earlier. If your memory is that short, I got a clip from there, we got shotgun shells from there. So we've got about 22 ammo for exchanging six with the zombie in this room, so that that's a profitable room. Definitely one to remember. Ooh. Crawling caretaker zombie. Oh no, not caretaker zombie, because he's got a brown coat on. Of course, the uh, the cat. Caretakers wear white coats, as we found out from the other room. That's a bit disappointing. Uh, ink ribbon's not so important to me, but what I'm going to do is to use the green herb, just put myself up to full health, and take the other one. Yes, yes, I will take the green herb. Oh, door in the back there. Um, the train running mechanics, the just turn left and right, forward and back, did sort of make running a bit more interesting because you sort of could only loop around. There was only one choice of arc of run. Uh, you could slow down, which gave you a tighter run, I guess. I guess you could try and influence the speed to change that, but in basis, it did only come down to one type of run. And the technique you'll learn is wall bashing. Which get around tight zombies if you start running out of ammo of the bigger guys. Push yourself against a wall and sort of run in an angle against that wall. 
It will keep you as far away from the zombies as you can without too much of a penalty to your speed. I mean, you can try and line up perfectly against the wall and run it that way. The only downside with that is, of course, going to be... Where to go? Just thank you. Let's get rid of this blue jewel. Uh, get to a safe point. Um, move stuff around in the chest. Have a cigarette break. And then we'll take it from there, I guess. So none of these doors here were locked. The one at the end was just from the other side. That was open. Still throwable. That was it. That guy's bedroom to the left. Bad disease plants around the corner. And this room, which I ran past a few times. Because there's a cute little kitty statue. Little kitty. Some tigers have red eyes and a blue eye. There's your cloak. And we have a blue jewel. Another one of those crests. Uh, it's been a while since we've seen one of the crests. Uh, if you remember the paintings, and next to it there was a dog in, in the garden looking bit, and you'd run past him and put it in the slot. Uh, there's still three more slots, and that was on the other side of the building, so we'll shove that in our infantry when we get there. Alive zombies in this this space. So this one against this wall, around the corner, and in. to worry about anything else. Let's put that away. Let's pop the green herb away so we have as much space as I'm happy to have at the moment. And let's uh, throw down a save. So if we do die, because there is no checkpoints, we don't have to go all the way back to the start. I think when I can save my progress. Find an increment. Oh, I've not got an ink ribbon on me. Whoopsie daisy. I'd say I thought I at least had one ink ribbon. So we the last save, because we were doing terrible in there. Much easier with a controller, it's got to be said. Uh, I might be even tempted to give it a go on analog sticks. If you're used to analog sticks, I don't see any reason why that wouldn't work. Just understand that you, all you're working around is a four directional system. Alright, so we're going to call a cigarette break here. So this is where, on longer plays, we're just going to stop for a few minutes. While I have a cigarette, let's see if I can get my lighter to go, because I can't find my other lighter. And we're going to talk about non-Resident Evil stuff, so let's get this stuck in somewhere a bit more nice for you. Resident Evil films have been a weird one for me. They're very much a guilty pleasure. 
going up with a lot of action films, the Sylvester Sloan, the John Claude Van Dams. I'm glad that they sort of glad that they kept it as an action film rather than as a survival horror film. But I think the problem is that Resident Evil and Zombies now is such a cheesy concept that doing it as a true horror film would have been hard for them and just wouldn't have worked. So I can understand why they went down the action route. Uh, it'd be nice if they didn't play around with the lore as much as they do. It was nice to see Nemesis, of course. Because Resident Evil 3, was it? I enjoyed it. I know a lot of the hardcore Resident Evil fans who I was at school with started falling out of the love of the franchise at that point. But for me, it really didn't happen until uh, the last one. I liked 4. Um, the only reason I think I liked 5 was because I did it in about three days with a, a co-op partner. And I think he made the fun more than anything on that one. Isn't it weird on Resident Evil films that the same actress came back and played two different roles in the film? I'm trying to remember her name. Great actor from things I see her in. Uh, she was in the first one, the Latino woman. I think she's a Latino. But if she's not, I've just got myself in one hell of a lot of trouble, so let's move on. Favourite weapon in the whole of the Resident Evil series? Um, I think it was probably the second one. And the first upgraded weapon I could remember the triple shot pistol. Um, fell in love with it because it was the first upgraded weapon I saw. Until you realised that on an ammo saving game, firing three bullets at once can actually be a handicap. Let's say it takes seven bullets to kill a zombie, you fire three, you fire three. The next three you're going to shoot, you're going to be wasting two of those bullets. If I remember correctly, you could switch it between single fire and burst fire, but you weren't really thinking about that well in a fight. And I think it's simple to see from this game why a lot of people, when they do retro graphics nowadays, aren't copying this style of graphics. They're copying the uh, 816 32 sort of bit. Uh, sprite graphics more than this because it can have that retro -y, cartoony look whereas this sort of sub-realism when, it, when it's not as good as the realism that you know I feel that it does hurt a game but I don't know whether it's just being of the older generation I don't mind graphics like this if I can get a good game and it looks this good and I'll be happier for the good game than for that. Alright, so let's be off again. We're just going to work our way back round and try and find any doors that were originally locked that we can now open with our keys, as we have two of them. There being a locked door up here, there was the number pad one, and there was another locked one. So let's try the other locked one. Ah, uh, hell, we right, this is not the key we have. Make our way all the way around again. Uh, there's only two doors here, and they're both four open. Should put us back on the hallway. There's three doors all that opens. Um, don't want to go back on the balcony. As Forrest was the only thing that was there with his bazooka. No offence, Forrest. I was very thankful for the bazooka. Use the armor key again. Oh, 
more herbs. We'll take them. We'll take the other herbs. I wonder if one of them is called Dill. Right, Richard, for the older what people. happened? Oh, Jill, this house is dangerous. There are terrible demons. Ouch! You're wounded. What kind of demon attacked you? It was a huge snake, and also poisonous. Ugh. Poisonous? Oh, no. Richard, hold on. There is serum. Oh no, I should have brought some with me. No, you should have. You should no problem. Yeah. I'll go and get it. Thanks. Welcome to a Resident Evil fetch quest. <laughs> what you thought survival horror needed. So essentially it's back on the other side of the mansion. Of course. Because not only should you have brought some with you, maybe we should have found a source that was slightly closer to you. That might have been useful as well. Rather than watching my fans have to watch the same animations again. Um, but Big Snake. Probably not going to take him on with a pistol, am I? What we're going to do is going to grab the bazooka to take him on. Bazooka, though, is it? Can I stop calling that uh, the grenade launcher? So not having enough space to take everything that he's going to give me. So normally against a boss they're going to give you some loads, well quite a bit of stuff before fighting it. I think on the presumption that if you don't have any of that stuff then, well the bosses are impossible. It's not like it, there's a way of actually running around bosses. You might be able to run around mobs but the game would be a bit silly if you could also run around bosses I think. Until Nemesis, of course, which is a whole game go on running away from a boss. pistol ammo. So I'm hoping it's not going to throw zombies between me and a boss. Which gives me another slot to pick up whatever's going to be in the room. I'm back with your serum. Here's the serum. Richard, hold on. I'll give you a shot now. Jill, here's my radio. You should keep it. I'm... Your what? No! Your what? Richard! What? Jill, be careful. Uh, uh. No snake beats my friends and gets away with it. Da 
Alex Zombie. I was hoping it wouldn't throw zombies between me and a boss. Let's see what this guy was blocking off. Uh, I think there's an ink ribbon on the table. But don't want to grab that if we don't have to. Alright, a lovely bit of blood around this ring. Let's get ourselves ready. This is one other thing I did like it. Um, told you when keys had opened all the doors that they could open. Uh, once you've unlocked a key, you don't lock it up again. You just leave it open. So it is perfectly safe to discard the keys when it tells you to. Pretty sure. I don't think there was any a few moments. Dead, I think. Music stopped. <laughs> Pathfinder is obviously not working very well. Yeah, yeah, you get back in your hole and you hide there. I'm gonna get an emblem for my troubles. Also poison, so I guess that's what the blue herbs are for. Not come across any yet. Uh, yep, yeah, take shotgun shells. That makes it always nice. Come on, I've been a stingy boss so far. That's all you've given me. It must be possible we have to take him out with uh, seven shotgun shells. If it's not, then that's awfully arsey because you could fail state that. Serum on yourself, you idiot. And who are those fingerless gloves? It's Barry. I hope it's Barry. Yeah, that's what you should have done. You should have brought Mr. McPoison with poison to the serum rather than trying Barry. to take it to him. Barry? No, uh, we've still got two more of them to find, so let's put that away. Put that away, that away. Get this. Back out the reliable pistol. I guess we'll get back to where we are, were and start going around the rooms again. Try and find what else our keys can open. So, apologies, you can see the same corridors again, with no zombies in again. Maybe I should have kept one alive, just to see. Let's get the entertainment of being able to run past a zombie. Run, 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 run. 
Alright, so this is where we were. That was a door we went through for him, so let's keep going round. Another key from the armor case. Oh, yeah, I remember this. Uh, see the little vents on the floor? We'll cover them up. matters which statue you put with which. Do it this way around for the obvious reasons that they're next to each other. A uh, big red button in the middle of the floor. There's a switch, will you push it? Yeah. So if you don't put the statues on the vents, uh, the vents start spewing some sort of poisonous gas. Um, which you don't kill you straight away, it starts knocking away at your health if I remember correctly. Uh, and you can run out of the room to stop that. So just one more crest, that's all we need. Any armor? No, no ammo in there. Three down, one to go. This was the room that had the botany book in. Uh, the only reason I went in here though is because this leads round to the same place. And there was a locked door in this corridor, if I remember correctly. Just so. Gives us the ammo key. Will. It's a letter. The top of the letter is missing. The remaining says, Yes, I'm infected. I did everything I could, but I could only delay the progress by a few days. The most frightening thing is that I forgot more about you by the day, so I chase, chose a peaceful death rather than becoming the living dead. Within an hour, I will have entered my eternal sleep. I do hope you'll understand my decision. Goodbye and forever for all. That's not really a will, that's a suicide note. Sort of tell people something. to their name. They explode things. And that's all that was in that side. There's no crests or nothing to, seems to progress us, just ammo. Which is always useful of course. Zombies on fire, which I'd rather do with a Molotov than a, a 
lighter. Uh, red herb, which we can't pick up. Nope. That's a spot again. Uh, there was a fireplace, wasn't there? Which of my senses are tingling it means I've got to light it with a lighter. Because, you know, some people were just intelligent in that sort of way. second floor, which most of it we must have seen by now already. Oh well. Uh, locked helmet. So is helmet the third key? Is that the last one that I'm missing here? I've not seen gauntlets or boots in any of them. I'm sure someone's going to tell me what the fancy word for boots is. Not been. Right, the stairs. We've been there, we've been there, we've been. Couldn't go through that door. It was locked. That's where this. Oh, yeah. I remember now. Got the lighter now, so let's go back to where the snake. Well, near to where the snake was. Remember, there's a zombie in this room. Oh wait, we didn't rummage your body. Be sentimental in your own time. Be a thief of mine. Some nice stock of uh, pistol ammo on the go, though. I don't ever remember really having this much on playthroughs. But then when that, maybe I didn't. I've never actually played through once. I knew as much as I know now. Oh, I've come here with a bloody full bag, haven't I? Uh, yeah, because we can stack them. Can move that. Like the candlesticks, which means we can now see in here. More ammo. Uh, and acid rounds, which would be useful. If I could carry them, which I can't. I can't even think where the nearest safe room is. Well, probably around the corridor again, down there. Yeah. That's where the nearest safe room is. Stairs that I didn't go through first time. So maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Um, I haven't looked up any guide or watched any other Let's Play before. 
playing this. This is purely trying to go on memories from when I had the game. Uh, don't get me wrong, I've completed the game a few times, so it should be engraved in the memory, so it's not an excuse. Just an explanation if I'm not running from there to there to there to there. It's because sometimes it m may be a little bit greater than that. For the time being, carry the crests around because I'm going to go pop them in the door so I can get rid of them. Yeah, you can save your progress with this, and yes, I will save it. But even though the room I popped them into, um, the last door I can see that I haven't tried yet or been through, it's just opposite there. So it'll be interesting to have a look, Let's see what's in there. back. Let's get out of here. Let's find out what that last room's for. So we found a mansion so far full of zombies. Uh, found out this is where the research has been going on. Uh, killed a giant snake. Found out that so far three of my team members are dead despite all giving me lovely lovely ammo. Uh, it was this door here wasn't it? Uh, well that's a helmet door as well. Right, let's go pop these in the door. Let's see where we stand. I'm trying to remember what the hell's the last one? that, we moved the grandfather clock over, what gave us that, uh, we did the chemicals, which gave us nothing, other places we haven't been, so let's go to them. Uh, first one is round here. I'm not been through this side door. And that's everywhere the armor key can now be used. Doggies! My favourite, of course. Get ourselves with a back to a wall, so we'll just plumb them out one at a time. Oh, there's only one of you, where's the other one? That's why there was three looking over at me. Yeah, there comes the other one. Relatively low hit as the dog, as you can see, I'm still in green fine. Um, the only reason I hate them is because if you do start to panic and you lose touch of them, and they can become a very, very big annoyance from that point. But a lot of, lot of herbs from this little bit. Take as many as we can carry. Hopefully all of them, so we're going to have to take you guys back here again. Right, so I need space for two more. Simple enough, got one free space. I want to double. Right, then we take the other two. But no emblem out here. No emblem whatsoever. 
got the one from the tiger eye, got the one from the snake, got the one from the little gas room where you push the button. That's three. That's four of them. So I should have four. So I've just been an idiot. Is that what's happened here? There's a likely chance of that. Well, I've just had it in the chest and forgotten about it. Silly, silly, silly me. But well, it means you guys get to see the next part of the level. So this was the mansion. I'm going to get four crests here. this and you generally carry around more with you to be safe and don't take that as you're a bad Resident Evil player. Um, I'm trying to purposely carry around the minimum to stop the video of just running back into to these stories which I'm sure would get very boring for some people very quickly. And the iconic crank. Doggies, there he is. Down, down. down again. You down, you down, you down. Position. I always have a shotgun, so it's with the pistol the same. That distance makes a damn bit of difference to your damage. Gonna pick anything up here because you just come back through here anyway. <laughs> Did you hear that beeping? Forces you to listen to that bit or not, whether you know about checking the radio when it beeps. Didn't want to take the risk because, well, when you see as much of the game as possible. <laughs> Is that another puzzle section? You can see all the water's not there. Good old crank time. I uh, know most people are saying it's not a puzzle to find a crank in the hole, but we'll see. But FMDs. So that allows 
me to get through here. But as you can tell from that quote, it blocks the other side. Of course, when you're walking past trees, you've got to worry about baby snakes revenging their mum. <coughs> I didn't want to kill her, she made me do it. Missing the safety of the mansion. Sorry. God, that was within range for that one. You can't do because if you do that, we're going to get back and cross and so forth. I'm not really seen that happen before, but thankfully it did. The zombie dog decided to run around me rather than at me. So you have that ammo for a while, which the reserve is starting to slightly run lower. And again, I've left all those herbs there. Generally, because I know that the garden's clear. Try to pick most of them up on the way back. Um, that should be a bit too much to pick up on the way back, especially with the amount of blue. So we take all the blue herbs we can. Take two. I'm worried about only having one spare slot. So an object is different to the colour to the environment, so movable. Right behind it, so it's going to move that on. Come on, Jill, push that fucking thing. Thank you. Doo -doo -doo. Push it along, push it along, push it along. Uh, so remember the little plant that we killed? Because everything gets infected by the virus. Well, if you don't block up that little hole, then later on Mummy comes back to slap us in the face and remind us that we were a bad boy to his children. See what's behind the single doors before doing the double door. Oh, safe room. Hmm. The reason I thought I remember there being a lot more ink ribbons around typewriters. What there are. First aid spray, expensive rounds. Okay, save up if we've got another ink ribbon. That should do. Let's throw that away. That away, throw that away for the time being. Thing you might want to try with Resident Evil is after you save, try and take a few more risks. Um, because if you do die and you do get beaten, then um, it up in your face. Um, you haven't got that far to come back. Whereas just after a save, if you do spank a lot of your ammo and then you get screwed further on, you're going to lose a lot more of what you've put in rather than taking the risk 
earlier, of course. Unless you're playing with Jill and you know where everything is like I do, in which case just keep shooting. Everything will probably die. Two zombies in a single room. Hmm, what were you guys doing in here? Hmm, 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 a little bit of zombie loving. Zombie loving! I'm not saying that I wouldn't be loved by a zombie. The desk is locked, please. Lock it. Yes. Shotgun shells. Always useful. because they seem to be pivoted around only half the book so it doesn't spin from the centre, it spins from the uh, spine. So the ink ruin back in the chest. Um, she's definitely not going to need that. No, not until the next save uh, point. Oh, and the shotgun shells, of course. Because we're not going to carry a shotgun, we won't miscarry the shells. It's all thrown back. Right, let's get out. Get out and get to it. Red doors, fancy. Spiders. I fucking hate spiders. I've got a lot of health. Um. Spiders, I don't think they take that much. I just don't remember coming back into this room, so I'm gonna try and take the ammo save in this room. Alright, there's something on that table. Let's clip to that. Fine. 
nothing scary looking in the corridor, which is nice. Let's see what's behind the doors. So behind door number one, we have nothing. No, no little flying wasps. from the hornets. Definitely don't want to be fighting hornets. Sorry, I say crows aren't the smallest things on here. I'm going to take these. Only because I've used up my heel, so take one. Take two. And use one just to get yourself back up to fine and let's check the keys. So zero zero two is engraved on that one. Key to enter the control room. Okay. So no clue with that one, it was just called what it was called. Don't know why I'm still carrying Ingrimman around with me. I could be carrying around something more useful. Shotgun. So you can use more unexpected ones. I can notice there's nothing in this room, so. Plant 42 report. <clears throat> Four days have passed since the accident, and the plant at point 42 is growing amazingly fast. It's been affected by the T virus differently than other plants have been and shows unique shape in addition to its size. Uh, looking at the way it behaves, it is now difficult to determine what kind of plant it was originally. Uh, there are two ways in which Plant 42 gather nutrition. So the first one is through its root and that reaches into the basement. Immediately after the accident, a scientist went mad and broke the water tank in the basement. Now the basement is filled with water. It is easily imaginable that some chemical elements were blended in the water and promotes the incredibly fast growth of Plant 42. Another part of Plant 42 from the basement grows through the duct and hangs down like so many bulbs from the ceiling of the first floor. Many vines come out of those bulbs and there are the second resources for its nutrition. Once sensing movement, Plant 42 shoots its vines around the prey and holds. Then it starts sucking up blood using the suckers located at the back of its vines. It also has some intelligence. It blocks the door by twining its vines around it, especially when it captures prey or is sleeping. Several staff members have already fallen victim to this. Devilish, devilish plant. Uh, let's take the dormant tree sketch. Yeah, of course I'll just send it. Where else is there to go? Down like that, you'll get caught in the corner and you must start all over again. 
which is nice and fair, of course, because of, you know, the length of this corridor isn't long at all. Oh no, wait, it's extremely long. Say Evan, never been eaten by the sharks. Been for a long time. If you find more quickly to go around the other way, you'll get a lot easier time than that. And you got an FMV as well. Sharp. Cuddling up to you. sound from the next room, so let's see what's in the next room. Though, not with a few babies. I can sit there and struggle for air as they watch their mother die. So you can see there's, uh, there's the roots that the letter was talking about that come into the basement. And nothing else in that room that I could see. Well, there's one last room here, so let's have a look at that one. This was the room where there was a click. They are all wet and useless. Well, things on the top shelf aren't. Entry key. They look like shotgun shells. Which I definitely will take. So again, we've been getting warned about a big boss. So we're going to start carrying around the bazooka with us. We're going to get ourselves up, uh, up in health again. We need to find the room that has uh, the number three next to it. Oh, before we get a pistol ammo. I don't remember this little room. I mean, I must have been in it because it's got a quest item in it, but two sh two uh, groups of shotgun shells, two collections of shotgun shells, and two pistol clips. It's a nice return. Very nice return, in fact. <laughs> flop, 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 flop. All right, I'm so Peter, don't get on the phone to me. Kill you. Now 
course, now the uh, music has stopped. So I'll take him. Do need a hill, but I need quite a big hill, so I'm gonna take the risk and try and take a red and a green. I've been using up two greens here. That should be clear on the way back. Slightly doubt my sanity for doing that because I've got no help. And there's a zombie there. Oh, thank God for that. That's going to be the humiliation of dying again. bullets to kill him so we can profit that way. Right now let's just run back to the uh, safe room. damage whipped off us every time we went past because now we know the plants there I hope you aren't the first time you've been sort of smart and then put it there but uh, yeah, I'm not the boss of people let's pop that away um, I'm going to save up though just before we move on again Boss must be some time soon as so he's been telling us enough about this plant. So I don't have any red herbs. I want mixed herbs. three doors so if that's like the last one that'll be a one off use item and then I can throw that one away, discard it. So hopefully I'll have uh, two item slots to go instead of uh, the one. Um, so I remember seeing door number three in here so we do that. Church bells ringing. I don't know if that was in the real world or whether that was the game. A bit random for me, I guess. Damn it. Zombie right next to me. Good trade, I'll take that. There's a zombie around this corner. 
row of red books. There's one white book. Will you take it? Uh, VJOLT report. As I stated in the last report, there are some common features found in the cells of the plants infected by the tyrant virus. We also say found another interesting fact though, some ex through some experiments, we found an element that destroys these plant cells rapidly in oomp number 16, one of the series of oomp chemicals that we used for that experiment. We named this oomp number 16 as VJOLTS in our calculation. It will take less than 5 seconds to destroy plant 42 if we put the VJOLT directly into the uh, root. Have you seen the root? Uh, we need to mix some of the mm, series chemicals in a specific order to create V jolts, but the series chemicals may generate a poisonous gas which is harmful to the human body. Extreme caution should be taken when handling these chemicals. Following other types of mm, series chemicals and their brief characteristics. Um, number two. Um, number four is green. Um, number seven is white. Um, number seventeen is blue. V jolt is sixteen. We get to three, that's purple, six is yellow, so we have to make sixteen. So I guess we do that by a three, a seven. Three, a seven, and a six, I guess. Three, seven, six. A purple, white, and a yellow. Three, They're all red books, so maybe another red book. So I see what we need. to the plant. Because if so, I've n <laughs> I was say, if so, I've not weakened the plant yet. Might be a better start than that. Um, another puzzle. I like this one. It's gen generally... Um, I can't remember if it's turn off all the lights or turn on all the lights. Um, we're going to go for turn off. So when you hit a button, it takes the corresponding button. So if it's six, it will do three, five, and nine and change them to the other colours as well as its own number. And there is a way of doing this with just three buttons, but I can't remember that. So we're going to do a bit of trial and error instead. stuck on this then I will look it up. Uh, brain just isn't working in this way today. Turn that off and turn that off. I know it's locked so I'm going to just look at that. Unlocked door to a puzzle door. <laughs> so 
So 13 plus 3, so we got to go 7 and 6, so 3 and 4 and 2 and 4. Okay, so I need the containers. Oh, there's one. Should be another one around here somewhere. There's another one. And so what we do is we take um, number four. Yeah. So four and three. So we're four and three, and four and four and three, four and two, four and three, four and two, four and three and four and two. Yep, yeah. take some of that. So that's the four and three and the four and two. That's our six. to make a, a run again to the safe room, I apologise. I've got enough room for all these bottles. Mainly because of all the explosive rounds and stuff I found in the other room. So I'm going to blame it on anyway. It's Jill Valentine takes another run. She was called Valentine because she was supposed to be the sweetheart of the series. No, but don't get me wrong, I think that's a completely wrong interpretation of Jill. I think she's a kick ass. Uh, no Ada Wong. She's not an Ada Wong. Not that much of a kick ass, but you know, I always like Jill. Time being, let's get rid of them before we actually have to fight the boss. So let's go back. Get some more empty bottles. So we've done the six, we need the seven and the eight. We don't have to do the touchpad each time with that, though. But you just think if a room is locked by a touchpad, that you would have to do it each time. Uh, yeah, we need four again, but this time we need to need three. Uh, was three tap water? Three is tap water them. Right, so next we do three with four. Oh, that isn't three. Of course, I need to make three. Could be two and was water one then? Uh, two with that one. Oh, okay, so yeah, we got six and three. So now we need another four. 
Nope, don't need any more two. Next thing we need is four. Two things we need is the two and the one. jolts. Now what would be very nice of the game is if it just cleared our infantry and the empty bowls, but yeah, it's not going to do that. Uh, we'll get rid of them eventually. The first one though is poison the plant. down there because there was some at the end of the corridor. We're definitely taking one I think and then taking the other one. Yeah most of them. do this before I actually came down here. I'm thinking if you get into that room even if you know what you're going to do before it doesn't let you do it until you've got the manual that tells you how to do it. Could be wrong by that, could be completely wrong and you could just maybe bring it down with you and throw it in there. But I'm going to cover my ass and say that's the case. versus zombies, this is plants and zombies. doable. I think it's going to be very fun for people to watch. Not chess. First things first. If you think I'm running low on ink ribbon, I've passed passed a few. Um, if you want to play this a bit more casually, then yeah, pick them all up and you'll give you more saves. I think the one that I've really been is you unlock something for not saving it in a playthrough, doing it from start to finish. Which is not the sort of behaviour I think they could promote nowadays, and it would receive a, a glittering. 
claws, uh, explosive rounds, flame rounds, and of course the bazooka itself. Let's pop that away. Put our ammo away. Take some more heals, of course. Green herb. Green herb. Green herb. Interesting that you don't appear to be able to swap the rounds in the bazooka until you fired them all. Uh, bazooka and the grenade launcher. It does say bazooka though, doesn't it? It does say bazooka. Um, but we argue it's not a bazooka. Well, it sort of pathetically spits out a grenade. It doesn't even fire them, it just goes. <laughs> That's it. The guy designed that weapon, I really hope he didn't get an award or anything. Right, so the plant. Uh, we saw it earlier when we accidentally ran into it. Now uh, with a lot less veins on it, so. The uh, principle is that bits of the ceiling will fall. You see the white dots chasing me. I'll wait for a spot in the ceiling falling, which wasn't there. I'll put a shit in the face. Okay, the, not to look up, not going well. Terribly. Let's put that on. killed him. So the only thing really hard about that boss was probably getting the aim. Now is there anything in this room that I can s scrape together <laughs> to try and pay back some of the debts for that? Um, not by the looks of it. We're going to get a key. A mansion key. So we'll go back to the mansion. Must be the helmet key. First one. Yeah, carving of a helmet. That's it for that room. Um, so, yeah, no like special ammo dump for the boss on that one. But it seems if you do screw that up, you can really screw that one up. Wesker! Jill! So you're safe? That's what I was going to say. Where on earth have you been? You disappeared from the hall all of a sudden. I'm sorry, but I have my reasons. Perhaps you guys have met them? It was all I could do to protect myself against those strange creatures. Is that right? Anyway, it's good to see you're safe. Jill, our first priority is to get out of here. Yes, you're right. 
Now, there are a lot of rooms in that mansion that we can't get into because they're locked up. I have been looking around for clues. Okay, I'll go to the other house and see if I can find any clues. Will you do that? I'm counting on you. Oh, I found my way around the mansion, okay. Granted, I had to wait till the last little key came to me, which was just got. Chase me around. That's who we been told to go back to the house. That was the moral of that story, wasn't it? Unless I missed something. Pistol ammo again, of course. The well, game really could have done with a better auto stacking system, I think, I feel. Yeah, some clips. Let's get rid of the green herbs. Uh, there was a lot of herbs in that garden, wasn't there, that I ran past, so we pop these back in the chest. Let's start the run back. I don't remember having to leave any dogs, so this should be relatively safe. Relatively being, of course, the main word. Oops, raising it down again. This is Brad. I know you can't answer me. But somehow, give me a phone. This is Jill. Brad? Oh, it's broken. So we have to somehow what? For a helicopter. Find open ground? Standing in this front mansion? Which one do you think he's after? Actually, I think he's after the second one. I shouldn't be asking so much. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Dress out of her. I can't remember having to come back here for any reason. Well, through this gate for any reason. So I can just do that one now while I'm here. My apologies. up a menu every time you pick up an item uh, would be fun in some new games. There's not the uh, Shadow of Mordor. Are you sure you want to take this herb? Are you sure you want to take this guy's soul? That would just be a bit weird, wouldn't it? Back to the mansion, uh, we've now got, of course, the shield uh, helmet key. So it's a nice, familiar spot where we've been. Uh, there's only been a few places we couldn't go with uh, the key. I believe one was next to the door where you go in, and the other one was on top of that flight of stairs next to the number pad. So, of course, first thing's going to be first, we're going to Go to the room that's just by the door as we go in. Put these herbs here as well. Uh, red that I was lacking, wasn't it? So let's take some red. with one of the available item slot. 
Uh, I would like them all, but you got to pick this stuff up before you can pull it into a chest. Okay, and you're probably going to find out in a second why we've been so keen just to use the pistol and the pistol only. It's because when you come back to the mansion, zombies aren't really your issue anymore. These are now your issues. Coming with a green arm. That's a hunter. They can jump, they can swing at you. Um, generally, overall, just not happy people. Get some light going, nothing common. Uh, looks like a book there. Uh, we take the Doom Book one. Why not? It's, all, it's only called the Doom Book. Get a quest on out of that. It's quite cheeky there because it looked like um, a book in the other one that wasn't for anything. I uh, definitely want to take Magnum rounds. Because they make uh, the bazooka and the shotgun look like a pansy. Not that you've really seen much of the shotgun yet. But now that we're fighting hunters, you are going to start seeing it now. Because there aren't really people you can just constantly run away from. I can't remember this one between me and him. Yeah, there is. Boy, ah! A white bit of paper on the wall. Looks like it might be a map. I restocked our supply room. That's nice of her. Uh, Let's presume it was Barry. Actually, I'm going to put the ammo for the pistol away. What we're going to use instead is shotgun. If we can find it. Put the blue herb away. Blue herb away. Quest items. I don't remember coming across that yet. And then we're going to start trying to find all our shells. Freebies on the floor, pick them up. And let's pop them in the box. Uh, I'm going to keep the pistol with me. Um, Because if I do come across the odd dog or zombie still around, I'm not going to want to want to use shotgun ammo against them. Oh, that was Barry. Up the stairs, oh look, there's a hunter. If this was like last time, there's probably going to be one behind me as well. <laughs> Oh, 
shells back with a shotgun. Can't hear one. Yeah, there is one there. Oh, what the hell am I supposed to be able to turn that corner quicker than he can? Him, of course. And another one bats the dust. Another one down. And another one down. Another one bats the dust. Hey, I'm gonna get you too. Yeah, you and your friend. Another one bats the dust. Oh, is this a shield door? Helmet door, even? Sure, it was. It wasn't either of the other ones. Yeah, let's take the herb. Let's use it to top my health back up. It was a a helmet door. You've used the helmet key. Oh, another piano. Can I play Moonlight thing in the bob again? No. He comes in and interrupts. I actually forgot about him. He's dead. I'm flattening. I'm burning. Uh, I'm walking through your acidic body. I'm walking through your acidic body. Your hole opens in the fireplace. Oh, okay. Hole that he came through. I think for me. Um, oh, I can. Am I? I can. How? Let's see what's down the hole. It's too dark to see anything. Oh, just in the nick of time to. Jill, have you found anything nothing. interesting? Yes, but I can't see very well. How about going down to check by yourself? I have a rope here. How about you go down oh, first do you? and I'll follow? Well, then I'll try to go down using the rope. Wait. And he drops the rope. Hey, what's going on? Now I've done it. Sorry, Jill. Wait, I'll go and get another rope. Just throw that rope back Barry? up. Barry? Barry? Oh, no. It's a weird place to have a grave, this, for one. The grave to be a hidden thing. I mean, is there any other way into this little area other than breaking a hole in the ceiling and falling down? No. Hey, are you there, Jill? Grab the rope. I'm sorry, Jill. I didn't know that was going to happen. <laughs> sorry. I was really careless. Are you okay, Barry? Maybe you're getting tired. No, I'm all right. Don't worry. Jill, I found something. So it must be the pass for the uh, key up to... Uh, Thank you. I'll take this then. So 
So obviously if you crash you don't get pulled back up. Um, you just have to go down and down. Uh, after fighting the boss. Um, which as you see, I believe could leave you in tricky situations, especially the boss has left you in low health. See it's back return for Mr. Zombie. killed one at that as well. time to take a, a break we'll get back up to where we were uh, next time anyway enjoy the wild world well. 